Hey, welcome to Electron Online, and now we're actually going to show you some examples of how to find the intensity anywhere along the screen when two light beams come together that have just emerged from a double slit. So when the two beams come together, of course, they will diffract in all directions. They will bend, scatter in all directions. I shouldn't use the word scatter, but bend in all directions. And so at any point on the screen, we'll have some sort of interference patterns when the two beams come together, because each beam will have traveled a different distance compared to the other beam. For example, if we want to find the extra distance traveled by this beam compared to that beam, that is equal to the path length difference, x2 minus x1, which can be found by taking the distance between the two slits, d, times the sine of the angle theta. This angle right here, theta, is the same as this angle theta right there. And of course, since these are very small angles, the sine of theta is equal to the tangent of theta. Therefore, we can say that the extra distance traveled is equal to the distance y here on the screen divided by the distance to the screen from the slits. We also learned that the intensity is actually a function of adding the electric field strengths together. And we found in some previous videos that the electric field strength squared of the two uh, together, because they have to be added vectorially here, will be equal to four times the electric field strength of the individual beam squared times the cosine square of the phase difference divided by two. Remember, phi is the phase difference in terms of degrees or radians. How much of a phase difference is there from one wave to the other when they come together? It could be anywhere from zero degrees to 360 degrees. Of course, zero degrees are in phase. 360 degrees, they're in phase, 180 degrees, they are completely out of phase, so you see no light at all. So on these locations right here where you see dark spots on the screen, that's when the phase difference between the two waves is 180 degrees, or pi, and therefore they destructively interfere with each other and you see no light at all. Over here there is no phase difference at all, so there the intensity ends up being four times the intensity of each individual beam, and then anywhere in between, we need to find the intensity, and we do that by using this equation right here. So the intensity anywhere along the screen is equal to four times the intensity of each, each individual wave as it comes through the slits, times the cosine square of the phase difference divided by two. So in this video, we're not yet showing how to relate the angle or the location on the screen where we're looking to the phase difference. We will do that in a future video. Here we're just going to assume that we're going to pick some arbitrary phase differences to find the intensity based upon those. If the phase difference is zero, we see a bright spot on the screen, we know that the intensity is four times the intensity of each individual beam. Also remember that the intensity of each individual beam could be found by using this equation right here. Also remember that the phase difference can be found by realizing how big the extra distance traveled is, is if, if it's a fraction of a wavelength. For example, if it's 1 12th of a wavelength, then the phase difference will also be 1 12th of 2 pi or 1 12th of 360 degrees. So the phase difference would be pi divided by 6 or 30 degrees. So in our first example, let's say that the phase difference is 30 degrees. So it's 1 12th of a wavelength. What would be the intensity at that location? Well, then we say the intensity when phi is equal to 30, whoop, 30 degrees is equal to 4 times the intensity of each individual beam times the cosine squared of 30 degrees divided by 2. That would, of course, be 15 degrees. And what we do here is we take 15, take the cosine of that, square that, and then times 4 and we get 3.73, so that would be equal to 3.73 times the intensity of each individual beam. So that would be the intensity when the other spot, where when the two waves come together, the two light sources come together, um, there will be 30 degrees out of phase, and therefore the intensity will be 3.73 times the intensity of each individual beam. So what happens when the phase difference is 60 degrees? All right, so I, when phi is equal to 60 degrees, is equal to 4 times i times the cosine squared of 60 degrees divided by 2. That would be 30 degrees. Take the cosine of that, we square that, and then we multiply that times 4, and we get 3 times. That would be equal to 3 times the intensity of each beam as it goes through the slits. Okay, what would happen if the intensity of the two waves come together and the phase difference is 90 degrees. So phi equals 90 degrees. That would be 4 times i initial times the cosine 
of 90 degrees divided by 2. That would be 45 degrees, so take the cosine of 45, you square that, you get 0.5, so that would be equal to 2 times the intensity of each individual wave. And finally, what happens at 180 degrees? I think you already know the answer to this one. 180 degrees, that would be 4 times the intensity of each individual beam times the cosine square of 180 divided by 2. Of course, 180 divided by 2 is 90, the cosine of 90 is 0, and therefore the intensity at that point would be 0. That's where you see a dark spot. So that's how you can find the intensity anywhere along the screen if you know the phase difference. What you don't know yet at this point, at least I haven't shown you yet, you may know it already, but I haven't shown you yet, what is the relationship between this angle and phi. So can you find out based upon what the distance between the slit is and the farthest to the screen when you look at a certain angle what will be the phase difference when the two waves come together. Once you know the phase difference you plug it into this equation right here which I've shown you as an example right here and then you can find the intensity anywhere along the screen even as a function of theta. So that would be coming in the next videos. That's how we do that.